GSX-R1000 since the beginning. Tell us about your f the first time you rode the GSX-R1000 and what you felt. Yeah, I remember it well. We, we, uh, we tested the bike, uh, a back-to-back -back test actually, with the bike I was racing at the time, with the bike I was going to race the next year, which was the GSX-R1000 at Rockingham. And I must admit, when I got on the bike, I did realise we had quite a bit of work to do, really, to turn the bike into a race-winning machine. And you recorded the first ever four-cylinder 1,000cc winning BSB on the G6 1,000? Yeah, something we, we're really proud of. Again, you know, when I first got on the bike, there was a lot of work to do, development work on the chassis and uh, an engine, really, to make the thing strong. But uh, we got there in the end after a lot of hard work, and uh, the first race win was at Brands Hatch and it absolutely blew the team away, you know, we were just over the moon with that. And to take the first win on a 1,000cc bike at the time was, was quite cool. And you had a few battles with BSB on the GSX-R. What stands out as the most memorable moment? Oh, there was many really. I mean, probably getting on the podium in the World Superbike, racing against Shaky Byrne. He actually beat me that day, but uh, one of the hardest races I've ever had. And again, I think racing with Shaky at Brands Hatch in one of the BSB rounds, although I didn't win the race, it was a monumental battle up until the, the last lap, and I think we overtook each other in every, every single corner bar one. But unfortunately, Shaky Burn was in the lead at the time, and he beat me. But I still come away thinking, you know what, that was a damn good race. And you went on to uh, record the first win in the championship for 1,000cc four-cylinder two. Yes. Um, again, you know, there's a lot of hard work involved in that to get the bike up to, uh, to, to race winning ways. And we were learning as a team, you know, as, as I, was, I was in a brand new team, the team were trying to work around me and find out what they really wanted. And in the end, we sort of got there halfway through the first year and uh, fantastic. We took a, took a victory at Brands Hatch and pretty, pretty special. And so moving on to life after racing, uh, you split your duties now between Suzuki race director and development rider. What does the development rider part mean? Well, it's involved. I'm more involved with the GSX, uh, GSX-R range. Um, if we, we've got a brand new bike, I'm shipped out somewhere around the world to go and test it and evaluate it and uh, give my honest opinion really and to be quite honest with you you know my honest opinion is my honest opinion if I think there's something wrong you know I'm not really shy of telling somebody that and uh, you know we, we try and work and make things better and uh, I'm proud of that. And you put a UK rider perspective onto this development? Yeah very much so yeah I mean we, we have meetings here back at SGB and uh, we really work out where we need to be going what direction we want and then it's my job then to be sent out and uh, get what the British public really need. And so the 2012 GSX-R1000, tell us what involvement you had in, in that development. We were out in uh, Europe for, for three weeks over the last summer in uh, 2011 and it involved many, many, many miles on the road and also on the racetrack. But uh, what a fantastic job. I mean, you have to pinch yourself really. Working with the technicians and the people that design the bikes and uh, coming back and giving them feedback is, is something quite special. I'm really quite proud of that. Um, but it, it does involve a lot of high speed work because we're over in Germany a part of the time. It gives us a chance to get on the Autobahn and of course uh, winding a, a GSX R1000 up to maximum speed on an Autobahn is, is, is great fun. And uh, you know, it's, it's a job I really enjoy doing. And the development on this new bike, do you think it's paid off for the, for the end user? Very much so. I think the bike, this, this new bike that we have now, the GSX R1000, is a wonderful machine. Yeah, I mean, it's got loads and loads of mid range power, and that's where they aim to get, get the power from. Um, it's got Brembo brakes, great stopping capability, and it's just an all around uh, beautiful machine. You know, the bike just handles so well, it stops well, accelerates out of the corners so well. I just think everybody's going to love it.